Hello. Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, ASP dot net MVC prevent cross site request for the re-attack. Uh, how? So uh, add a ASP dot net web application uh, of the type MVC. Uh, you can check in Visual Studio 2010 uh, in a message for that is uh, anti for the attack is not uh, implemented by default but Visual Studio 2013 when you create your template then automatically add anti for the uh, methods uh, in a view section when we remove uh, anti for the uh, method uh, from the view then what happened let's check first of all create a model class uh, of the customer uh, with the two properties that is customer ID and the customer name after that uh, we can do uh, access uh, these parameters uh, using the view section so in a model section add a new item or you can say class that is customer class okay in which you can add properties of the class so uh, I add two properties customer ID is the key property and the name is the required property okay so public string uh, name okay first to set customer ID as a key that is automatically incremented so key and second the name property is required so required actually required is not and the key also not available in this so, so system dot uh, component model dot data notations is the name space error message equals to name required or you can say Field is required okay so name required in the control sections add uh, two math uh, two action method first for the get the model class and uh, second use for the post of the model class so first to get first to uh, implement the get method preparing your scaffolding yeah uh, so copy this and paste for the post method yeah the same method is here both are the same but use HTTP post okay that's fine in the index method you can call the model class that is customer use control dot using data dot uh, using namespace web application 31 dot models create a object of the customer class object customer and send to the view object customer that's fine now add first of all build your application before adding your view yeah build succeed now add a view for the get method add a create types view in a model class as a customer class and add it
okay uh, let's prepare in your view it's take few seconds or minutes uh, to properly create your model yeah successfully created uh, you can see that at the rate html dot nt forgery token is a method added in html dot form html dot nt forgery so remove this and check what happened without this run your app application application run successfully but when you uh, copy the source code and pass and paste of the source code into your HTML file yeah that's fine now view source now copy the HTML file and paste in a notepad open your notepad and copy this yeah change your form action method that is your form action method is home index that fine now in which uh, add a file http colon the port number is 9080 so copy this localhost 9080 copy and paste it here okay save this html file desktop with customer.html file okay save it and run your customer.html file enter your name Jacob and create yeah your file is successfully post on your local host that successfully posted if you use anti forgery methods stop it and use HTML dot anti forgery token dot anti forgery token as well as in the post method you can use validations validation validate anti forgery token okay now save this and run it again Yeah, successfully open view source your is form is there no action method is here okay when uh, you call customer class and passed a name that is Jacob and create click to create button yeah that's types of error occurs the required anti-forgery from the fields 
request valid uh, verification token is not present okay and you run your application that's run occurs okay also that's type of so uh, for the security purpose you can use HTML anti forgery token and validate as uh, anti forgery and run your application successfully uh, with your server yeah that's fine so thank you thank you very much